hi guys so welcome back to my channel so uh today i'll be doing uh a bold glam i'm not yet sure what colors i'll be using i think when i open the palettes i'll decide what exactly i'll be using <laughs> guys so welcome back to my channel if you are new here i am antonette i do makeup i'm a self a self self thought makeup artist that's the term yeah you know what i mean i teach myself that's me and i also do clothing hauls i'm fairly new to youtube so i'm still figuring out what my niche is but for now that is it so if you want to see how i accomplish this look today just stay tuned keep watching i'll try to make this video as short as possible but also very informative so yeah this is the finished look okay so i'm gonna start off by moisturizing my face i use the l'oreal paris hydrogenous moisturizer i got this from amazon i will put a link down below it's a gel formula and they say it's for oily skin it it works for me like it's lightweight it doesn't leave my skin with a whole you know like when you put on some moisturizer it feels like you just added a different layer to your face i don't get that feeling with this moisturizer so that's the reason why i like it it's very lightweight and it does what it's supposed to do it moisturizes my face is breaking out because of the mask i do change the mask but breaks out just the same okay so i'm now gonna add some lip balm this is from fenty rihanna so yeah this is her luscious lip balm a very tiny thing my lips are super dry and I'll be wearing a matte lipstick today so it's good to add some moisture before all right so now that we have done the whole prepping with the moisturizing i am going to start on my eyebrows i'll be using the morphe brow pomade and this is in the shade chocolate mousse that's the shade that i'll be using you guys know i already yeah i normally use a uh, pencil and the pomade for my brows so i'm starting off with the pencil you can use just a regular brown pencil i personally prefer brown because black is too harsh so i'll be starting off with my brown pencil and then afterwards i will go back in with the pomade when i'm finished doing my makeup all right Okay, so now I'm going to use my spoolie to just blend them out. Yeah, we're going to blend them out because, you know, looking pretty crazy right now. All right, so now we're going to do some cleaning up. I'll be using the Juvia's Face Concealer for the bottom of my brows. This is number 13. So this is a few shades lighter, probably like about two shades lighter than me, somewhere there. Right. I'm going to blend this in. To blend it, I'll be using one of the Morphe Fluidity brushes. This is Morphe uh, 173. It's a bit thick. I kind of messed up my brow, 
but remember i will be going back over it so that's nothing to worry about all right so we'll fix it we just need to have it outlined so we can work around it right now but it doesn't need to be perfect because yeah going back over it in the end so what i'm using what i'm doing here i am using this concealer to also prime my lid i've blended everything yeah i've blended everything and like i said i also prime my lid i feel like i don't know what i'm talking about today probably hungry all right ready just try to get rid of this it's a bit annoying but we'll fix these uh like i said i did not decide on the eye look so let's see which palette i'm gonna put my hand on yeah all right so i've decided on going with a purple look like i'm gonna do a purple cut crease i think i should do a cut crease series you guys can let me know what you think about me doing a whole cut crease series so if you want to learn to do cut crease you can tune in you can follow me we can do it together i'm starting off with the watch me blush palette from the crayon caves just using a brown shade cobbler from it to start the concealer before i apply my colors this is my if you can see my concealer is already creasing that's because it wasn't set so we are about to fix this and this is what happens to your eyeshadow as well that if you don't prime or if you don't set your primer like a whole bunch of stuff can go wrong but yeah let's just ensure that we set this the shade that i'm using it is like the exact shade of the the concealer we've said that you cannot see a difference in color because like i said it's the same shade i'm gonna go ahead and set the other eye my lids are now primed and set so the canvas is ready this is so annoying very annoying all right guys so i will be using two palettes i did not remember that i had this palette it's the morphe 35m boss mode palette <clears throat> boss mode i think i got it right the selection the color selection it is nice i mean could have could have been better i feel like it has in too many kind of nudes or stuff like that you know murphy love doing nudes i think murphy's all about nudes mostly their collabs come with more color but their original palettes they have a lot of nudes or pastels if i may say so i'll be using that palette and of course my jammer palette from plenty makeup by yolando i love this palette when it comes to pigment this is my go-to palette this is my go-to it's very very pigmented all right so even though i know that i'm doing a purple look I don't know exactly how I'm doing it. So like I said, as I go along, I'm thinking about it. All right, guys. So I'm ready. I don't even know which palette to dip in first. But let's start off with the Morphe. Okay. Okay. This looks to be very promising. All right. Well, 
want to ensure that you can see If I'm doing a look and I'm not sure what I'm going for, I prefer to do both eyes at the same time. So whatever I add to this eye, I can add to that eye. As opposed to when I have the look all planned out in my head, I can do one eye and then switch to the other. But you see, because the creative juices are just going to flow right now, we're gonna do them together. That's our first color down, which is, uh, very deep purple it comes off as being blue comes off like navy blue and i look like a raccoon all right we're gonna cut this i'm gonna cut this i'm going to i have the p louise white base here this one is zero i am going to be cutting with this base so I don't know what we're doing yet what we're doing yet alrighty you get some base on my brush I'm scared really really scared because i have no idea what i'm doing but let's see how this will turn out I'm not going to cut it any further i'm gonna leave that right there just like that i'm deciding on the next color that i'm gonna go in with thinking about it thinking about it all right so i think i'm going to go in with white yeah i'm gonna go in with white Yep, going in with it. All right, so I've set that base with white. I kind of went over in the purple, so I'm going to see if I can brush that off right now because I, I want it to be clean. It's not as clean as how it should be. So I'm brushing that off. Okay. I am going to cut my crease again, but I'm not going to cut with the white base this time because I want to differentiate my lines. I'm cutting my crease again. This time I am using the 0 0.5 P. Louise base. So oh, this is the white one. Yeah, I'm using... 0 0.5 so it's a little bit darker because I want to be able to differentiate I set with white if I cut with white it's going to be hard for me to see where I want to place my next color all right so let's get cutting okay so I am finished with this I I wasn't planning on adding glitter or whatever I decided to add a little white eyeliner like right here and it cracked so this is from plenty makeup by Yolanda her formula well one of her sales point I think that's a character I don't know is that it doesn't crack but what I just experienced was definitely cracking so I had to put uh, some glitter over it I had to put glitter over it instead of just starting over. I'm hoping that when I'm finished, this will all look good. Let's just see. So I have glitter on my face. So let's do this eye so you can see how it was done. 
I'm cutting my crease again with the 0.5 base. I'm doing this so that I can have a little bit of difference between the white and where I'm going to put the purple. I'm not sure if on the camera you can see the difference, but I can see the difference with the white and this color. So I'm not going to put any eyeshadow where the white is, but I'm going to go ahead and start placing my eyeshadow. We are using all shades from the same Jarmac palette. Yeah. Let me hold up this one so you guys can see. I'll be using this shade, this shade, and this shade. All purple. That's what I use on this lid. So let's go with a deeper shade, which is Rebel. We're going to take that at the end. I'm going in with music now, which is a little bit lighter. Now I am going in with the lighter shade, which is more like kind of lavender. It's a light purple. And this one is called Champion. All right, so I still have my white. I did not touch my white. I extended this one a little bit more, so I think I'm, I'm gonna do the same for this one. We are finished laying our purple. I am going to use some, I'm gonna use some glitter primer. Before I add the glitter, so I'm using the NYX Glitter Primer. Just using an eyeliner brush because it makes application so much easier. Yeah, so I extended it a bit. Now I'm going to add my glitter. I am using a glitter from Glitter Addict. It is very pretty. It's called Magic Trick Chunky. You can find them at uh, Glitter Addict 876 on Instagram. So yeah, this is like really pretty. I don't know if it's focused. Yeah, there you go. Very pretty. Okay, so I am almost finished with my eyes. I don't think you guys are seeing it uh, properly on the camera. So I'll point out that this one here, it looks a bit more brighter. Because remember I said I applied the eyeliner to this one. However, it was breaking, so I added the glitter. But for this one, I just went straight to adding the glitter. I did not add any uh, eyeliner. So that's the reason why this one looks much whiter. But if you're really doing this look to go on the road or doing something similar like this, it is best to be consistent with whatever you do. But for me, I'm just doing it so you guys can see how to do a look like this yeah and my lighting is getting very bad so i really need to hurry up i did not clean up the top of my brows so we are going to do that we are going to do that and get right into the foundation This is a Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Deep Golden, 
which is pretty close to my shade because we don't want halo bros. I am going to prime my face. Remember, we moisturized already, so I'm going to prime. For my foundation, I'll be using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. This is a shade 112, which is cocoa. To blend this, I'm using, to apply my foundation rather, I am using another brush from Morphe. This is Morphe. Morphe, yeah. This is the M439. It's the fluidity brush. So I applied a very thin layer. You can see all my pigmentation, or most of them, you can see them. I'm not going to be doing a very thick layer because I'm not. All right, let's conceal. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Same one I just used on my brows. No, I'm going with Morphe with uh, Juvia's. I am now blending my concealer in. I used two different shade concealers because I did not want my under eye to be extremely white. So using two different shades kind of gives me a balance. I'm gonna start setting first I'm using L'Oreal infallible pro sweep and lock translucent powder I am placing this powder in my highlighted areas I'm not going to bake with it I'm just placing it there then I'm going to brush it off shortly I'll be setting the rest of my face and as usual, I am using the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder and this is in the shade Nut Brown, which is C7. I'm using one of Morphe brushes. This one does not have a name. It's a powder brush. Applying this all over. I'm doing this lightly because I'll be going in with more powders. I'm going in with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute while I go in with my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette. I'm applying my contour powder, which is a darker shade, to my cheeks and my forehead because those are the areas you want to pull in. So you contour what you want to pull in, you highlight what you want to put forward. Yeah, while I'm baking, I'm going to go back over my, turning over my makeup case. I'm going to go back over my eyebrows because, like I said, I don't think, yeah. I'm just going to go back over them, yeah. I am using the Morphe Brow Pomade to go back over my brows. I'm using my powder brush to remove my setting powder. Remember, I use such a okay, buttercup so setting powder. 
my face is kind of all over the place right now it's a bit blurry it's one dimensional for the most part so we're gonna we have some work to do because i feel like my face is one dimensional i'm reapplying my contour powder I'm now powder contouring my nose. I'm not up for my nose being super contoured, I'm so this works. We're going in with this palette from the Crayon Case. It's a contour palette. So remember, I use three different palettes to set my under eye. Well, I mean, three different powders. I'm now cleaning up my brows so that I can have a better finish. I'm applying my, my, bro, my blush. Blush. So I'm using the Saharan Blush Volume 1 palette. Yeah, I like the vibe this is giving me. I feel like this one goes out a little bit more than the other. So I'm going to use a bit of the orange and a bit of this darker shade. So let me touch the dark shade and touch my orange. All right, so let's add some highlighter. My lighting has gotten very bad. I'm using natural light lighting. And yeah, it, it, it is bad. All right. I am adding brown liner to my waterline. You will need to set your makeup. You're wearing a lot of powders or I'm wearing a lot of powders. So I'm setting. I'm using the Maybelline Fix It Setting Spray. Okay, so I popped on some lashes and I kind of outlined my lip with the Crayon Case lipstick. I don't really like this lipstick. It's like super, super, super dry. I can feel that there is something on my lip. But the name of the lipstick is Weedat. I think they're changing the formulation or the packaging. They're changing something about them. Now I'm going in the middle with a Struvia's lipstick. It's called In Vogue. Pretty bright. The lipstick does not apply flawless. It's like it's like it's breaking. So it has uh yeah, see does not apply flawless. So I would not recommend this lipstick, not at all. Alright, so Let's see what we have here. I think I'm going to put on some earrings and then show you guys, get some better lighting and show you guys what the actual, my hair is still wet. I washed it earlier. So yeah, it's so wet, so wet and shrinking a lot, but I'm going to fix my hair and, uh, Put on some earrings and like I said, get better lighting and show you guys the finished look. All right, guys, so this is it. I did not go and add any earrings or anything. I, yeah, this is it. I, uh, 
in general i like the concept there are a couple of things that i want to work on for example to tidy up the eye area i definitely want to work on that getting my lashes to go on straighter and stuff like that so there are some things that i want to work on but it was really fun trying this look i feel like i am blinking so much i love the lips the only thing i don't like is the quality of the lipstick so this lipstick i would not recommend it she has other stuff that's really good the eyeliner the white eyeliner it does crack it cracks i would not recommend it so yeah remember i will list all the products that i use down below i welcome constructive criticism so if there is anything you could have you, you feel could have been better with this look please feel free to say to remember to subscribe share comment etc and yeah that's just about it so thank you i'll be doing thank you for watching i'll be doing another look shortly yeah i do like the way these two go together i really do just don't like the quality but that's it that is it